So they have decided to put this access control barrier on the public highway, obstructing a pedestrian crossing. Yeah. Now, I'm not happy about that. So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here in Peterborough and we're taking a look at this building here, which is unsigned, but it is the home. Oh, we've got a little sign down here, actually. It's the home of MasterCard and also prepay. Now, there is some scandal about this place on the internet where the UK regulator have fined MasterCard and others for a prepaid cards cartel scandal. And basically, they were fined 33 million pounds for agreeing not to poach other customers. So MasterCard would not approach Barclay card customers, for example. But by doing that, the customers lose out on a better deal. And the regulator deemed this to be a scandal and issued fines to them all, with MasterCard getting the biggest. 31.56 million pound. The other companies fined were Allpay, Advanced Payment Solution, Prepaid Financial Services, and Sullion. The payment services regulator, the PSR, said the firms broke competition law by agreeing not to compete or poach each other's customers on prepaid cards offered by the local authorities to distribute welfare payments to vulnerable people. So it gets even worse. These prepaid cards were issued to vulnerable people. And not only that, they then agreed not to poach each other's customers to offer them a better deal. So they wanted that big interest rate on all those vulnerable customers and they did not want to lose it to any rival prepaid card company. So right now we have security approaching. He's giving it a thumbs up. We've got Securitas, look. He's got a tie on, he looks very professional. But the question is, how will he behave? Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, mate, it's okay. We're not coming on today. We're just going to stay outside, okay? Just to do a bit of filming. Uh, can I ask you, what's the reason for filming? Oh, nothing to worry about. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. We won't come on. So you're sort of... Where does your land start? This block paving, is it? Yeah, it's just that. Well, this is like a crossing, isn't it, for pedestrians? Yeah, yeah. yeah. PJ and DJ, yes, you've Hiya. got us. Uh, yes. Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? You too, Bryony. Bryony. My Thank boyfriend you. loves the channel. Oh, do you want one for him as well? He has also asked if you guys could go there. <laughs> Is what, sorry? Asked if you guys could go there. Where's that? Yours clothing in Orton, there's two warehouses. Right, I'll put it on the list. Yeah. I'll put it on the list. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Is this a music video or something? Like... Yes, you've got to sing. Oh, no, no. And no, dance. No, no, no. no we'll no. sing with you. And they've got no, to be, no. you've got to go in there and get the dancing girls out. <laughs> so, no, what we're going to do, right, we're going to put the camera on a tripod and we'll, we'll, all three of us will do a, a nice dance uh, no, together. No, I'm, I'm working, I'm working. Sorry. Come on, please. No, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I think that's mean. Oh, that's I'm, not, I'm willing, aren't you? That's not very nice, please. No, they won't mind. Sorry. I'm working at the moment. Sorry. What time do you finish? We'll come back. Oh, we're going to club sometime. <laughs> you what? Yeah, sometime. We're what time do you want us to come back? Uh, I don't know. Are you going to dance for us if we come back later? I'm working right now somewhere. Okay. You're working right now. Is it boring? It's okay, it's busy. It's uh, lots of things to do, yeah. Have you ever actually caught someone stealing anything? Uh, no, not really, because it's, 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 it's a nice neighborhood, so it's, it's not really. I important. imagine it's all computers and things in here, is it? Nothing worth yeah, stealing. But... Got to walk out with a big computer <laughs> in your arm if you're going to nick anything. Yeah, but we never had such a problem, so. So yeah, when, a... when have you been required to step in as a security guard then? Or have you not? Yeah, but we not, it's, it's not really a trouble in his side here. It's obviously office, so it's office people, obviously, everybody's so educated. So you've never been needed to step in? Uh, Only when there's people really, outside with really, cameras, I think. Really. Has there ever been a fight inside or anything like that? Uh, no. So what are you here for then? Yeah, there's a lot of reception things to do as well, so we do the reception. So you have to sign oh. people in and out? Yes. yes. So right. okay. Basically, you're a receptionist? Yeah, well, doing security, yeah. The patrolling, like, if something inside, like, inside the building, some leakage or something, so we inform the uh, facility and yeah. everybody, yeah. 
Oh, all right, okay. all right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. We're just doing a little bit of a report on something. I don't know whether you've heard about the scandal involving MasterCard. Right, OK. It yeah. wasn't just MasterCard, it was all of them. It was a lot of prepaid card companies, yeah. OK. Do you want to know about it, or...? Uh, can you explain a little bit to me, please? Like... Yeah, well, basically, um, the government issued some vulnerable people with a prepaid card to help them out. OK. And MasterCard was one of the providers of the card, and they agreed all of the providers of these cards agreed not to poach each other's customers. So they set up kind of a cartel? Yeah, like a cartel. We don't, we don't mean a drug cartel, like, but a card cartel. And, and what happens there is the customer loses out because they don't get a better deal when somebody else wants their business. So we want you to come and use our card and by jumping to us, we'll give you a, a lower rate. Do you know what I mean? So MasterCard actively arranged that behind the scenes, but they got caught. Oh, OK, so you're filming because of that scandal? Mm. Scandalous, yeah. yeah so and it cost them £33 million, £33 million. But this is a prepared service, only for the people, you know. Vulnerable. They go holidays or stuff. It's, it's nothing to do like credit card or anything. This is prepared service. Yeah, but decisions about that were made from this building. Oh, uh, well, there are many sites, but here we, we not really deal with all that. This is pre -pre prepared management services there. Right. Yeah, exactly. So is this prepaid foreign currency for people going like to Spain and places like that? I'm not really quite sure. Obviously, we don't deal with that. We do like security. Yeah, just kind of reception. Security. Yeah. But would you agree that access prepaid worldwide is based here? I'm sorry, I'm not surprised to give this kind of information. Right. Well, are you OK? Um, we're just going to stay around for about half an hour. Uh, we won't come on. Yeah. We'll just come up to the block paving there, yeah. do our filming from there. And yeah, but the thing is, uh, you can't come to the property. No. Are you happy? Are you no. happy if we just go to that line just there? Uh, yeah, obviously, this is a line. This is a pavement. But obviously, after the line, you guys know yeah. about because it's a, it's a private property. So, yeah, after the hair, if you can film, uh, you don't mind, but we still have to go through. Yeah, because we do like to be open and transparent with you. So we will stay on this line. We'll do our filming from here. It will include a drone going over, just for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, obviously, you can't cross the line, but drone, obviously, let me speak to my management as well. If uh, this is a site where you can do the drone filming or not, because I'm not quite sure about that. Okay. So I need to consult with my seniors as well. Okay. Obviously. Okay. So on that basis then, do you want us to wait here for, let's give it five five minutes for you to get someone senior? Uh, obviously you can do whatever you want to do behind that line. Yeah, the, just on the drone matter. Yeah, you, yeah, but drone matter, obviously I need to consult someone before. Right. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be here. Yeah. We'll be here for you, my friend. All Thank right. You. Don't forget your dancing shoes. Go on, give us a quick dance on the way back. Put the light fantastic. <laughs> so I do actually think he uh, handled that very well. I do. Now, and especially when you consider that English is not his first language. Yeah. I think it was very, very professional. Yeah. So it was interesting to hear about when he needed to spring into action. I always wonder about these uh, buildings how yeah. boring their job does actually get. So, and what has been the highlight of their job so far? Yeah. Because for me, I would love to have stopped a big scandal myself, you know, inside. Yeah, yeah. There was an employee who was taking this out every day and we couldn't work yeah. out how it was... It was nicking, that... nicking rubbers off the desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did, the stationary cupboard was empty every yeah. Friday. Yeah, yeah packets of pa paper clips and, yeah, uh, yeah. and staples. Yeah. So he's going to come out it within five minutes, he said, with a manager that's going to have the drone discussion because he admitted there he doesn't know about drones. Mm. And he didn't say you can't do it. So we've cut him some slack there and gave him some time. And what do you make of this um, barrier that's uh, just been placed onto the road? Yeah. Now, I would actually say... That's not fixed, is it? That's, that's just... It, I would say that is fixed with the, um, the bolts and the stud. Uh, I don't know. But, I don't know if that's bolted to the ground well, or where it's just... Yeah, it's probably bolted to the ground. What I'm concerned about, PJ, here, 
Now, this is a public footpath and it is clearly a crossing with the studs for blind people, okay? And people in wheelchairs. Wheelchairs. Like that. Now, also something to note, the tarmac changes at that line there, which is pretty much the same line as their block paving. Which so, is their barrier. So they have decided to put this access control barrier on the public highway, obstructing a pedestrian crossing. Yeah. Now, I'm not happy about that. I'm disgusted, mate. Because I'm just going to demonstrate right now. I'm coming along. I'm visually impaired. I can feel that there is a crossing here. Wow. Oh, oh! Now, I'm sorry. That has got to be mentioned. I think you need an Oscar for that, though, mate. Honestly, that is disgusting. Now, for the video, I'm just going to show you where this path comes from and where it goes. So, We've got a lovely footpath. We've got Costa. You may have just had your coffee down there. And then the footpath continues down here. And you have that there, look. And then you go across there if you have made it that far. And you continue down there. So the fact that they have placed that there, nah, that is disgusting. And look, we've got protrusive pieces of metal facing this way that could cause serious injury to a visually impaired person. I don't know if that is actually uh, bolted into the ground or not. Well, you have got me doubting it now because they've used such a big plate yeah. to stop the, the tip. If yeah. it was bolted, it wouldn't need such a big plate. No, it just bolt it straight into the ground. I'm just gonna have a little wobble on this. No, I can't move it. I'm thinking it's not bolted because it's not their land. No. It's a temporary barrier to solve a problem that they must have had in the past. But if anything, that should have been... Really? That should have been here. Exactly, it should, it should be there next to... I mean, Max Headroom. Why have Max Headroom? Excuse me, sir, do you know this barrier? Yeah. How long has it been there for? Oh, a long time. Because you know how it's blocking the kerb where you would cross over? Well, it's not... The security have organised it, so... The yeah, reason, but the reason... I know what you're saying, but the reason being is that why they've had to put it there. I don't know why they've actually put it in that exact position. Yeah. You'd have to talk to the facilities people here. Yeah, I might do but that. We had gypsies. Right. Um, that you, hence the reason why the barrier comes down at night. Yeah. There's a little bit of tarmac just before your height restriction where it would have fit better. Because where you've chosen to put it, not you personally, by the way, no, it's, where it's been I chosen to be put, it, do you know the blind people that are crossing the road? I can appreciate it. Are you, 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 you blind? That's are, you, not... are, you, are you registered blind? No, that, no, no. We, no, I just wondered, that's all. No. Do, do you share our concern, I though? understand what you mean, but yeah, because... because I mean, if you look, there's not a, a ramp here and a ramp there, like there is there no, where I agree there's ballards in the road. Especially if it's, if it's somebody with a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. And also, it's not necessarily lit when it gets dark. No. no. So we're, we're just here to document the fact, and we are hoping that MasterCard are going to take it seriously. Before we go in, what yeah. do you think the response is going to be? I think they will be responsible. Right. Me personally, I also work for them. I, 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 I would, I would hope they would. But the problem being is, I can't remember who put that there. We lease the, we lease the two floors. Right. Somebody else releases the top floor. Is it the prepay on top floor? No, pre, pre, we're prepaid in in, in both, both the, the, the bottom floor and the, the first floor. It's car hire company. All oh, right. Has got the has got the top floor. Right. Okay. Um, so. I can't even remember when it, when it went in. <laughs> so it's been that long? <laughs> it's been a while. You can see it's going rusty at the it, bottom. It really is a shame because yeah. it, the risk, it's, yeah. a, it's been a risk for that long and no one's highlighted it. Yeah, I've I just, until you did, I just, I, I just, just pass you it every day. About it. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. and the padlock is rusty, so you don't even use it. I, I don't know. That's the security. At night when you're gone home. When we've gone home, yeah, whether yeah. he uses it or not, I yeah, don't know. Yeah. I couldn't say. I appreciate your information. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you. So PJ, right, we have now got a matter of public interest. We must report our concerns, our findings to those with authority inside. Five minutes has passed. We should be getting the drone up, but we are not because uh, I feel that we've got a reasonable excuse to walk in there now. I feel we have as well, mate. So, let's go.
Let's go get him. Let's go get him, Floyd. Don't it smell awful here? There's something happening under there that stinks. Can you smell it? Yeah. So you have to leave the premises, but obviously you can use the drone to film the building. Why didn't you come and tell us that? That's what I was speaking to my manager on the phone call, All so right. you just came here. Okay, so you've literally just put the phone down? Yes, I just put the okay. phone down, sorry. Could you um, ask... Sorry, first you have to leave the site. Excuse me, yes. I'm talking. Yes, could, could you, you have to like, excuse leave me? the site. Excuse I need me? to call the police otherwise. Excuse me, I don't be to... so rude while I'm trying no, to explain sir, something I, to so you. So I need to call the police if you, if you have to leave the site first, and then we can talk, please. Right. Thank you. As a matter of being polite to you and waiting for you to finish your sentence yeah. before, I'm telling you right now, I would like to report something of a matter of safety. So, as you saw there, he didn't even want to hear our concerns. No, not interested, my now, friend. Unfortunately, he's let himself down there. And it started off so well. Because they could have listened to the concern and told us that, yeah, we'll get that sorted. Thank you for letting us know. I'll pass it on. Just something like that. I don't want an immediate resolution. No. We just want you to show that you're want being... You be aware of what it is. Yeah, yeah. What the problem is. Excuse me, there is a matter of public safety outside. There's a barrier that's been placed in front of a, a crossing. No, listen, listen. The visually imp impaired members of the public that are trying to cross the road, they have got a weight, they have got a, a barrier there that they could walk into and hurt themselves. All we're asking for is for you to acknowledge our concern. If you wish to tell me that you want to pass it on, have you got any comments to make on that matter? No, I haven't. Could you please the please? Do I have your word that you will at least pass that on internally? If I have your word, I will return. Um, you can communicate through yes, the official channels. No, I'm telling you, you're on reception. Do I have your word that you're going to pass that through internally to the person that would be, it, be responsible? No, I'm telling you right now. Okay, so I just ask you... Are you refusing to take the matter seriously? So you are, yes? No, 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 See, what you're doing there is, is illegal. You're blocking. Could we ask you to... You're blocking a drop curb. Please. And a drop, blocking a drop curb is illegal. So we're showing you that you're breaking the law. All you're replying with is a civil matter of trespass. So you're breaking the law, we're not. So I would like to conclude this conversation by you taking the matter seriously and just replying with thank you. We, we've heard your concerns, and sorry, I'd like to ask you if you could let our yeah, sorry. We're not You're blocking right? the door. We're not blocking the door. You go, my friend. It's OK. Have you got anything good in there? Excuse so we're going to ask you again if you could remove yourselves. Yes. Sorry, it, it's a civil matter. What I'm reporting to you is a criminal offence. Okay. Mine trumps yours. All I'm asking you to do is take it seriously and just reply with something like, thank you, I will take that on board. Something like that. That'll be fine. As I've said, if you could just remove yourselves from our property, please. What do you think? Well, I think we've made a point, don't you? It's unfortunate that we've had this response. That it didn't well, need to end. when the police arrive, when they found some yeah, police, okay. the police arrive, yeah. we'll report it to the police, because it's a criminal offence. Yeah, OK, we'll go down that road, unfortunately, then. So we'll have to report you directly to the police, OK? Another £33 million pound fine, I believe. Yeah, yeah. You've not learned anything, have you? OK. All right, have a nice day, guys. Thank you. Thank Enjoy your food. Tell the police that they do need to attend because we've got something criminal to report, not a civil matter. Let's go. So, once again, you've got a big corporation there that just think they can do what they like. You know, they think they can make these cartels to make as much profit off the vulnerable as possible. And they also want to put their barrier because it protects their sight with no consideration for the visually impaired that are wanting to cross this road safely. Absolutely disgusting. So whilst we wait for the police to arrive again, again, so we can uh, tell them about something criminal because the police, they enforce the law, you know, 
there was nothing aggravated about our trespass. We were simply wanting to communicate a public safety concern to give them a chance to resolve it before it gets to any complaint of or any injury of a member of the public. You know, we were doing them a favour. Well, can you imagine the civil claim against them? Yeah, we're giving them a chance to yeah. rectify the problem before the civil I claim. I mean, I may turn and walk into that and accidentally injure myself. Yeah. And put a civil claim in again. Yeah. So whilst we wait for the police, I am going to get uh, David out, get the drone footage of this one. And let's see what this place looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. MasterCard and the prepay company. Let's have a quick look at you. See if you've got any other obvious health and safety issues that we can make note of. So I'm going to get nice and uh, wide, a wide shot so you can see this safety barrier which has just been dumped in front of the uh, crossing there. And there are things that would bring members of the public into this industrial estate, like the Starbucks. You know, any one of these businesses down here could be employing somebody who is visually impaired, who just wants to walk to the uh, local Starbucks who has that uh, obstruction dumped us there. Anyway, MasterCard, scandalous. Massive car park at the back, look. Empty the car park is at the back. Hardly anyone. Yeah, I've actually noticed that the, the building next door is Mencap. Now my daughter used to work for Mencap. All right, okay. And Mencap um, deal with a lot of disabled people. Ah, like people in wheelchairs and things like that. So we might be able to get a comment from them and see what they well, think. It, it says business support centre, so I, I wouldn't imagine that there'd be many people going in and out in uh, wheelchairs and things. Yeah. But it just goes to show you that the building next door deals with disabled people and people with learning difficulties. Yeah. And they've stuck a, a, an Austin Great Big barrier in the way that's not needed anyway no doesn't yeah. like doesn't look like the padlock uh, it's got lots of rust on that padlock well there's nothing on the nothing on the other side of the road for the for the um, barrier to rest on yeah well they have got a few solar panels up there but cost saving is not on their mind with being so scandalous as they clearly are well it's a bank yeah and you know what banker rhymes with? <laughs> so I'll just do, give them a quick uh, gutter inspection because I can see some... It's not much of a gutter. Very, very short drone flight. Let's get a 360 degree photo for Google Maps before we move on. How long's that barrier been there, mate? I don't know. Uh, 20 centimetres if you cut it correctly. Really? Well, so the size of my... Right, like you're looking at everything else. Just the barrier today. How long has it been there for? Because it's blocking the uh, the curb. Oh, are you one of these new brothers? New do, you, do you know the blind? When they want to cross the road, they don't want a barrier like that blocking it. Oh, right. Oh, my God. What's the funny road about road that? Sign, the road sign looks like two people bent over with his finger up. What's funny about that? It's, it's really funny. You're funny, though. Oh, thank you. You really are. Right. <laughs> so pinpoint next to What's your name? My name. I thought she was closing the window. Sorry? I'm I thought. Sorry. Yeah, she is, but not. I find you really interesting. Seriously, do, do you know if a, a barrier is blocking a blind person trying to cross the road and they injure themselves? Yeah. The person that put the barrier there is responsible, agreed? You know them sticks that the blind people walk with? They yeah. hurt your ankles. They hurt your ankles? They do when they whack your ankle, yeah. Have you, have, you get a life, go get a job. Have you ever seen anybody use a stick in that way? <laughs> Oh yeah. I don't know, what's he all about, eh? I have no idea. I thought he might work here and just uh, finish in early, but it looks like he was just picking up his uh, missus. I think, I don't know, what do you think? No idea. No idea. Did he get me? He just kept on going on about his private parts, didn't he? So, what do you reckon to that one then? 
we just filmed the building because we read about a scandal and it turns out that there's more scandals going on you know this post has been there this barrier has been there for longer than the gentleman can remember and the staff front of house do not even want to acknowledge the problem you know they say oh just email us or go on our website we're here in person highlighting a safety issue that could be you could be liable for any injuries caused by that damn thing there so you should be grateful that we're giving you that information anyway and they've also got a very bad sewage problem as we walked into reception there if only we had smellovision. vision <laughs> But the location of the DJ Audits key ring on this one is just down here somewhere. Yeah, it's just down there, look. You can just see the key ring just there. So if I just pan out as you look at the building with the sign to your left, one, two, three, four, four posts in. So I think that'll be it because they did say they're calling the police, but we have waited for a good 10 minutes now Oh, longer yeah 15 minutes and the police have not turned up so that's it so from me dj and me pj if you have enjoyed that video do give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one guys bye bye for now yeah excuse me um just a very quick question sorry the mask is not nothing to worry about do you know how your men cap um, do you know this cross in here? This is like um, for the visually impaired, yeah? So for the... Um, yeah. So it sort of overlaps with what your business is about. Um, we're only here today to document the fact that MasterCard have placed a barrier in the direct route of the crossing for... In front of a drop curve. All right. Can you now see we, that? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. know what... I know what uh, Mencap... My daughter used to work for Mencap years ago. So we know what you do. Um, it's people with uh, learning difficulties yeah, yeah. and also physical difficulties as well. That's right, yeah. And yet, right next to your place, they're going and block a, a, a drop curve that they don't need to do. So we just... Have you spoken to them? Oh, yeah. yeah. They won't give us any response. Oh, right. We've, we've uh, expressed our concern and all they've said is get off our property. Oh, right. So we're just gauging the sort of level of professionalism that maybe you have experienced with them if you express the concern honest, I'd, rather, I'd rather not comment in case like you're filming me because it's not our problem for men this it's their land no it's no, not no this is public it's a public, public highway public footpath there. so they've placed well, their maybe, barrier maybe go to the local council well the police are on their way oh, but right. it's only because we saw your sign and we respect what you guys do we also thought if we do need to put a complaint in, you might want to add weight to it because your customers may want to use this crossing. You'd have to speak to the property manager about that. Yeah, it, what's his name? Is he available? No, no, she's not based here. She's in London today. She's unavailable. Is there anybody, I do apologise for putting you on yeah, the spot. I was only going over there to talk to her about something completely different to what you're talking to me about. Okay, would you be willing to mention it at all? I'll talk to her when I next speak to her next week. Perfect. Thank you. Right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Every little bit of help <laughs> is really appreciated on a serious matter like this. So there we go. We've got um, Mencap next door who also agree it is a concern who just so happens to be visiting who says they will add weight to our argument for us. So that's brilliant.